everybody, welcome to Balkan Moto. Today we're going to try to hook up the uh, speedo sensor to the speedometer uh, and hopefully have this bike uh, with working instruments. Check it out. So after untangling the cables a little bit, so this is the cable that comes from the speed sensor. It has two cables, uh, green black and white black. Um, from what I can gather, um, because it's a two cable thing, I'm pretty sure the green black is the uh, signal positive and the white black is just the ground. It might be reversed. This is currently plugged in directly into the uh, old odometer cluster. Um, so we're going to unplug it from here and figure out where to plug it in. Uh, in terms of the new speedo, I separated out the two cables that are supposed to be. So we have a, a, a red white and a, re a black white. Um, the red white is the signal positive and the black white is the signal negative. I don't think we're going to need the signal negative, um, mostly because this um, speedo was designed to work with. Um, <clears throat> uh, three cable speed sensors as well so we're probably going to unplug this um, and just plug in the signal positive so the green black from the other cable here uh, and put the white black into probably one of these grounding uh, spots so probably this one and see what happens so let's try to do that okay so turns out that the speed sensor the two cables coming from it this uh, the black and the white black is actually the sensor signal green black is a ground so I grounded the ground like so this is very temporary I'll fix it up and then the white I plugged into the white black on the speed uh, speedometer so now if we were to turn it on we're not getting any shortages so everything's working fine and then if I were to push the bike yeah, we have speed so I'll wire things up properly reassemble uh, and then we're going to do a little actual run test all right, so I have a slight problem, which is obviously the signal from the stock speedo sensor was designed for the Honda um, wheel size, and uh, the the <laughs> the signal that it's sending to this speedo is way too high, I guess. Like we're way like the frequency is too high, so when I do end up riding. I end up seeing enormously high speeds, as you can see right now. So we're just rolling out, and it seems like we're already doing 50, which I'm barely going. So I need to find a way to introduce more, to reduce the frequency essentially. Or I'll just get used to riding with enormous speeds. Um, the shitty part about that is that if the speed is obviously wrong then the odometer on here is wrong too so uh, I'll have to figure out how to go about that. But either way, speed will works. Um, now what I'm gonna do um, so the next thing I'm gonna try to do is I'm going to loosen up the forks again and try to move them a little bit higher uh, just to get a little bit better of stance but also a little bit better um, responsiveness at lower speeds because the bike is right now really tough to like maneuver around uh, and uh, yeah and then I'm gonna remount the front light and call it a day so let's drop these forks another half inch or an inch or so all right, so I dropped the forks about this much, so that's what, just maybe three quarters of an inch. So now that's how they sit. 
still not terribly high into there. Uh, I feel like there's still plenty of space for this thing to uh, go under full compression. Well, actually, here. Let me show you. Ergonomics. Uh, I set up the headlight so that it actually, well, it actually points in the right spot. It doesn't just point in the middle of nowhere. So that's low beam, high beam, actually works properly. Uh, and then uh, adjusted the clip-ons so it's actually a lot more comfortable to ride. Uh, and uh, yeah. So that's kind of what the bike looks like now. So. A lot better, a lot more comfortable. It kind of actually feels a little like a uh, Ninja 250 or a Ninja 300. Uh, except a lot more powerful. Alright guys, uh, so I got a working Speedo. It doesn't show the right speed but uh, it is working. Uh, so we're gonna try to figure out a way to get that signal to be proper. Uh, I'll see if it's even possible. If not, I'll just have to install a different uh, speed sensor. Uh, and uh, yeah, so next on the list would be the uh, overflow tank. Uh, I actually have the bottle and everything. Uh, I just need to buy some uh, clear tubing to set that up uh, and then uh, we just need a license plate with a license plate light and the bike is ready uh, for safety so stay tuned make sure to subscribe uh, hit the little bell uh, to get notifications when new videos become available uh, check me out on instagram at bakermoto2018 uh, and yeah thanks for watching